Welcome back to the Duck Call Room. We're back. Goblin? Yep. It's good to have you back, friend. It feels like we you ain't been you here in a hot minute, yeah. son. It ain't been but a week. Yeah. Ain't Really? No, nah, it's been... It seems longer than that. Three. Three. Since, since you've been in here. I was going to say, it ain't it? been a while. That's his fault, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you watching, the guy been was the rock at Cole. First thing he did, that's blame boy. Hey, you know what? Cole, show Godwin our new effects. He don't know yet. What Watch this, it? Godwin. Godwin, we love you. Hey. Hey, here we go, boys. We're like a morning oh, radio show. That's right. yeah. It's wake up time. Before you know it, people are going to be calling us Chuck Redden around here. We got sound effects and everything. Hey, Golly. Hey. Well, what you been up to, Johnny G, while I've you been, been gone? Uh, I've been... Uh, I went and spoke in Charleston, Missouri. Okay. I was uh, look. Here's a quick fact on that. I was headed up 55. It was when all that snow was going on. Uh huh. It was pretty though. It was during the blizzard. Yeah. Okay. Look, if you put a truck motor, car motor, any kind of motor, in the back of your truck and drove up there, by the time you got there, you could have built a car. They pieces laying all over the highway. <laughs> Fenders, trailers, <laughs> tires. I didn't know what I didn't know what you were meaning oh, at first. Man. All you had to carry was the motor, though. That's it. Because the chassis and everything else was laid yeah. on the side of the road up there. On one side or the other. There you go. <laughs> so what you're telling me is rednecks can't drive in the snow. They they had too much fun. That yeah. kind of went over my head to begin with. I didn't they, get it. They, yeah. they kept. Oh, okay. uh, I know there's a lot of a lot of a uh, lot of pieces laying on yeah, side a lot of pieces of the road. laying on side of the road. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When it snowed here last year, I almost ended up in a ditch. It's scary. Ice ain't made for vehicles. No, don't hit the brakes. I, so just, I come around the curve. I was getting to where I was. This guy, well, he was smoking like 39 Boston butts. Oh, I thought you was talking about cigarettes or something. I didn't know what <laughs> you was talking about. He said he was One after smoking. nothing. Yeah. I thought he was uh, driving I fast. He had I, I didn't ran this curve, and I was, <laughs> it was just a little wet spot. looked like it was wet, but it was hard. <laughs> Black ice, in other yeah, words. Yeah, it was something. Okay, black ice. It's slick. Yeah. Slickery? Yeah. Oh, Slickery. yeah. But you held it I between the lines. I got sideways in that curve, and I just kind of helped it a little bit after that. <laughs> what was the first thing that went through your mind? The gas is your Uh-oh. friend. Yep. Yeah. Gas is your friend. Straighten out. Gas on it. If you'd have hit the brakes, we'd been telling yeah. a different story here. Yeah. Ooh. There'd be some more pieces in the ditch. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> but I spoke at a church up there, and then uh, come back. To Arkansas with our friend Jeff Smith of Crappie Magnets and mm-hmm. done a little duck hunting with him and old W. <laughs> Y'all kill you a few of them? We did. That's good. Well, that's good. A couple, glad somebody, couple of hands full. I'm glad somebody captured I'll some. Say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no capturing going on yeah. around here. Then I left there and I went to Pine Bluff. Now, you wouldn't think there's any ducks in Pine Bluff. But that's where I went to the Grove, and I got to hunt with some Navy SEALs. Oh, yeah, the veterans hunt. I was that supposed to be, be, cool. I was supposed to was be awesome. a part of that. Well, yeah. they had some stories, too. It's stuff you don't think about over there. Yeah. He said he drove through the Garden of Eden and through Earth. That was pretty cool. He said that was cool. That is neat. Went right there in the Humvee. <laughs> that's a little bit different than Genesis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, they didn't have Humvees then. They didn't, no. Well, they walking wasn't not walking in the cool of the afternoon. Let's just say. That. Yeah. <laughs> no. uh, that's one of my favorite verses. Because you know when it said that, I'm glad you mentioned that. They, why did they mention the cool of the day when Adam was walking in the cool of the day? And why did they say that? Because God. Because well, I was going to ask you since you said you spoke at a church. What did you speak about? Oh, I talk about you. <laughs> yeah, but what was the lesson about? You, oh, I just how Phil to- told me the gospel. I okay. shared the gospel with him. All right. Yep. You know, can't yep. go wrong. Uh-uh. But the can't cool, go wrong if you're sharing the gospel with Yeah, him. but the cool of the day deal, you know, I, I thought, why did they even put that? I don't forget what verse that is. Genesis 3.8. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid. You know why they say in the cool of the Why even mention that? It's because they took evening walks with God every evening. That's pretty awesome. Well, no, no, yeah. When you think about that, that is pretty cool. And yeah. they sound just like us during the summertime. Let that heat break. Yeah. 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 We we still right. doing it to yeah. this day. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. 
Once that heat breaks, you can go work a little while again. Work till about 11 o'clock, come in, and then wait till that heat break. Yeah, that's exactly that's right. It. Cool bean. Then I come back here, and I got to come in here with you boys. Well, I, I, I'm i more curious in what Miss Paula had you doing yesterday, because when I called you, you was out of breath. Oh, yeah. Well, six days, sit I, down, he said, God, I'm so sore. I, I know. know. I'm yeah. sore to write my hand. I'm cut to, I'm, <laughs> I mean, look, I, I got out, when I left here yesterday, <laughs> and I pulled up in my parking spot, I got out and grabbed a chainsaw. I didn't even go in the house. I went to cutting them flower bushes down. I don't know what oh. kind of deals, they get with big. A, with a chainsaw? Oh, yeah, they big. All right. They about this big around, some things growing off of them. And, uh, How big? I don't know what they about this big around. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's a pretty big size pipe. Yeah. Well, no, no, see, yeah. that's, that's the, that that's the bad part about it. I don't know why they talk you in to put some kind of tree in a flower bed next to your house. No, you could brush a blind with these things. They grow no, taller no, no. in the yeah. house, do Yeah. So, yeah. hey, and that's what breaks, it breaks concrete, unlevels the walk, oh, yeah. whatever. And you can't kill them. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't, them, it ain't too bright making a garden in your. I don't know what them things are. They ain't busting size concrete. Mm -mm. He ain't well, got no. none. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just saying, hey, I got, you know, I I did it too. My wife wants to prance there. Right? Okay, now, you know, when they put him in, it was all right. But now they're 10 foot tall. Yeah. Well, I wiped so, them down and. Yeah. And so I was sitting down there. Tall. I was sitting there talking to Martin. He <laughs> called me on the phone. And then here comes Paula out of the house, with, and she got she went to the round the side of the shop and got a ladder. His exact phrase was, "Oh no, she's carrying a ladder." Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking I might have had to get up in a tree or something. Oh no! But she just got on them gutters, cleaned them gutters out. Miss Paula, the only person I know that started sp spring cleaning on January the eighteenth. Yeah. Yeah. She said, "Give me a cordless drill, this gutters loose, and a bigger screw." Uh -oh. I said, "All right." All right. That's that Nordic in her. Uh -huh. That's that Norwegian in her. She she <laughs> said, "You go on. I take care of myself. Don't you worry about me." No, she could. <laughs> she could. Well, why was you so out of breath though? I just had a big old as many as I could tote from the front of the house to the back to the burn pile. Well, we may need to move John David's machine over here to you and let you get you a few a few right. pedals oh, in on that yeah. I'm yeah, just working out, baby. You, you <laughs> get on that. Silence and recline. <laughs> hey. He's been working out, and he's been losing weight, too. I do. I he's need to get about 38 pounds. As slow as the hunting's been, we all need one. We need a, we oh, need a dad gun, one made out of titanium or something that's super light. We can just add to our backpack. To I know. At least we'd be heavy. doing something. The way that hunting's going, them crappie, they ain't scared yet. But if they knew what was on my mind, what's fixing to happen to them? <laughs> <laughs> Rent about to be due. Uh, they would be scared if they knew what you were thinking. Oh, I'm fixing yeah. them. Yeah. Okay. Sore lip them all. Yeah. Well, that's what you can do. I see some little holes in the front of that QB. You can mount that thing on the front of your boat. Yeah, just and sit there. And never hear me coming. Boat, spider rig. <laughs> yeah, sit there and pedal while, oh, you, yeah. while you're fishing. There you go. Now you're getting, you're getting to it somewhere now. Mm -hmm. QB. The Finn Commander QB. Brought to you by That's this. just an idea. I don't know. Y'all do with that what you will, QB. Yeah. You can put it like on a kayak and then pedal yourself around. Yeah. yeah. Well, right. I don't know, though. We don't want to confuse fishing with exercise now. That's right. No, I go out there to relax. Yeah, y'all yeah, trying to mess up a good thing here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, well Godwin, we are glad to have you back. Well, I'm we glad gonna, to be back. We're going to go ahead and pedal into our first break. We'll be back right after this. All right, Si. What? You remember whenever I went down sick, I was in a bad, bad spot in life physically and with my health, right? Yep. Yep. And so I lost a lot of weight. I uh, changed up my entire lifestyle. But the doctors had me on, like, all these vitamins, right? Yep. And I hated I, – I mean, I had, like, eight pills I had to take. Every, well, I didn't have to take. I wanted to take every day to, you know, get the vitamins, get the minerals you need. But now we have found something brand new to me, and I've started it in my routine, called Athletic Greens. So I started taking it because I like vitamins. I like minerals. I like all the things that – help you feel better, give you more energy, optimize your immune system. Uh, it, you know, and I found Athletic Greens, and it's been awesome. Uh, it has 75 high-quality vitamins and minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and 
stuff that I can't even read, but doctors say it's great for you. And so I've been taking it. Look, every morning I get a scoop, throw it in my water bottle, shake it up, drink it, and I feel great. My immune system's ready to go. I feel good. You know, it's important to have a healthy lifestyle, but it's also important to get your vitamins and minerals. So in. this is a powder that you mix it's with water? It's a powder. You mix it with water. They got little individual packs that come pre-measured. I got a jar right beside where I brush my teeth every morning. I throw it in, shake it up, drink it, and I'm ready to go. And I feel better than I've felt in years. And right now I weigh less than my kids have ever seen me. So I'm just adding this to the routine, getting vitamins, getting minerals, you know, getting my gut health right. So here's the deal. If you want to try Athletic Greens, they're going to make it easy. They're going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash duck. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash duck to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Head there now. Well, Galvin, sir, I like it. I, I, I'm with you. I, this duck season been so daggum frustrating. I'm, I'm ready to go fishing. Uh, generally, like the last 12 or so days, you're you kind of dreading it. You're like, man, I, I just, you know, it's going to be gone till next November. And and this one, I'm kind of trying to usher out the door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. hurry up and get over with it. Can't wait yeah. for it to yeah. get over with. But, yes. then, but then the next day, you're going to be wondering what to do. No, no, I figured that out pretty quick. Uh, this this year, I, I just, they've whooped me. My hat's off to you there, feathered friend. You well, have officially beat me into submission. I didn't think it they, was possible. Back did they pick whoop up you truck? or did they just never show up? They never show up. Well, well, that look, was part of whooping me. When the feds say that there's a bunch of ducks, you always think, well, I ought to be seeing more. But no. you're killing them. But then when they say they ain't none, they right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they got that in down. They pack. got it right this year. All yeah. of North Louisiana been a gar for about it two has. or three weeks now. It's just been terrible. But you know, whatever. Hey, that just means more of them's gonna go back and have babies, and maybe we'll get some of them next year. So yeah. you know, do our okay. part. Take it. Take the good with the bad and move on. That's all you can do with all it. All you right? do now, take back your pick up to the boat. That's right. Up, head to the lake, boys. Well, before you know it, we'll all be riding tractors, planting, and clearing and making sure that it's in shape for them for next year yeah. that's the funny thing about it is right. you know duck season don't end i mean it ends on january 30th yeah, this year that's the, that's when the work starts but 2022 mm -hmm. duck season starts on january 31st and they it? never thank you they, oh they thank you every time they backpedal that's the way of them saying thank you sir right. you tax them and you move on yeah. that's mm -hmm. just and then you and then you reduce them to possession and they ain't got to fly back to canada so they ought to be thankful <laughs> saving them a trip it's not, it's, that's a long it's, trip it's, you gotta have the right perspective on this that's right yeah you know right. that's and you exactly wrap bacon right. around them or douse them in flour yeah. or and cut them up and eat them yeah that's, that's right. what i'm talking about mm. but you know side what you ain't you ain't was nature on last night have you watched anything was, no let's uh, see what oh no? that's tonight it won't it? it'll yeah. be on tonight yeah. tonight yeah. is when i watch it there you go. I either watch that or either Father Brown. It's a, it's a BBB show. A B BBC. B -B -B. Oh, BBC. I saw it Better Business Written, Bureau. No. Hello. No. How are you doing? Yeah. He, he's got a good show. Do you drink it's tea a, when you watch it? It's a drama show. Somebody nearly gets murdered all the time, and then, you know, Father Brown has got to figure out who did it. Oh. And he's pretty good. That sounds like a British Walker, Texas Ranger. Oh, yeah, it is. All rolled into one. There you go. <laughs> British Walker, Walker Texas yep. Walker. Oh, I, <laughs> I like it. Hey, if you need a funny British show to watch, but has a little bit of coarse language, I highly recommend Ted Lasso. I know I've said it before, but that show is funny. I still haven't watched it. Right. I don't oh, care who you are. It's the, funny. The language is a little, a little, little rough. A little, little rough, but, 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 but it's, 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 it's funny. It is it's good stuff. I never thought I'd watch a show about soccer, but here we are. Hey, soccer, soccer. Awesome. Yep, or as they call it, football. But here we are. That's that's what we're down to these days. God, when you don't said football, that's where they whack it with their foot. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> starting now for the last four games to see who gets in the in the 
There's Super four Bowl. this weekend. Yeah, we got of soccer. Seven. No, no now they switch back to regular football. Yeah, football. Yeah. Now he's back on American football. Yeah. Why don't we call it British football and regular? Because football? way more of them play it than we do. That's <laughs> true. And they make way more money than our boys make too. So Man. They they get the original. They get football. We're American football. Yeah, we're American. We're tackle football. You take a helmet off of somebody, they quit using it. They quit using their head. <laughs> Which, you know, if they want to cut down on concussions That's and right. all that, the take away thing. the protection. That's right. You take can't away wear, the you encouragement. Can't wear no helmets. Yeah. Yeah. Take away the encouragement for using your head. There ain't no sparing no more. No. Yeah. No. I mean, well, hey. like. Maybe you've come up with the idea of for pro football. Get rid of them. Take all the pads hey, away. Hey, take the pads away. Okay. That'll reduce I actually pain. think that would work. It would help. <laughs> It'd help. It wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Now, it wouldn't hurt. The first, sure. the first year or two may hurt because they're still going to be doing the same thing. But once you yeah. Yeah. once you get that out of the way. Yeah, once they realize, wait a minute, I can't do what I used to do. I don't have pads or helmets on. Well, I mean, I just think, like, when I get in a circumstance where I'm like, ooh, watch your head, you know what I do? I wash my head. Yeah, you duck. I, yeah, I get out the way. I yeah. move it. I you keep it out of the way. But if you put a football helmet on. But if I put a hard hat on, I'll go walk through that door right there. Like, just I'll lower my head and go yeah. face yeah. first through it, you know? Just walk on through it. It's just one of those kinds of deals. It's all a mental thing. Like, you know, you got something up there that said protect you. <laughs> then you, you think you can't be hurt, you know? One that kind of Superman deal. boys. Yeah, ten feet tall and bulletproof. Bulletproof boy. There hey, you go. You find out real soon. You ain't you ain't ten feet tall and you ain't bulletproof. No, yeah, you find out real real soon that there's always a bigger bear. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> like Stone says, hey, if you're gonna take a bear, yeah. hey, be a grizzly. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Problem is, sometimes you think you're a grizzly and you run into yeah. one that's a show enough grizzly. Mm. Yeah. I ain't a grizzly. I'm like a koala. <laughs> Koala, koala bear. He's that little cute. I ain't even a pair of bear. No, you ain't no koala. They eat all them leaves. I ain't never seen you just dope pop a salad. I mean, I'll eat a salad. That was why he said he had dope pop. You kind of like a Tasmanian devil. That's that's a little more. Well, I'm not that mean. I definitely ain't that fast. They ain't that mean either. They just growl a lot. Right. Okay. All right. All right. Got him. As many devils, boys. Oh, what Lord. What kind of bear would you be? You what? What kind of bear are you? Si Teddy. I would be the baddest polar bear. There no, is. Teddy bear. Hey, no, he ain't no teddy bear. The man won't bear. walk outside hey. when it's 40. He ain't hey. no polar bear. Hey, polar bear is the best, baddest. He drinks a lot of coke, though. Because <clears throat> a polar bear hunts you back. Yeah. I po- you back. I'm going to stick. I'm, I'm going to stick with my thoughts on Si being a teddy bear. He's too nice. They're he ain't nice. no polar bear. You're he could be a nice. black bear. I don't want to, <clears throat> the climate would not fit me. <laughs> so, no, I can't be a polar bear. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like ice. No, you're America's hey, favorite, either. uncle. Hey, you got to like ice. Ooh, that's a big old bear. I found I found a ranking of bears. Ranking Who's number one? Right. Who's big, number one? That big Russian one? I that found Cy. I'm telling you. <laughs> I found him. Good <laughs> gray. That's a honey bear. It's Gene Simmons. Hey, no, that's a honey bear. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> what in the world? It's a sun bear. The sun hey, that's bear. a honey bear. It's the smallest of bears. Hey, it's a honey bear, I'm telling you. It's from Asia. There you go. And it likes to eat. Nope. Oh, nickname Honey Bear. What did I tell you? I don't know why I even. <laughs> I told you it was a honey bear. You don't have to keep reading. <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks ago, he watched a documentary about him. Yeah, oh, guaranteed. I, I can just tell by that tone. The honey bear is number one. The honey bear is number three, according to whoever oh, this is. The ranking boys. Right. Oh, oh, there's a bamboo bear. Bamboo. I believe they call that a panda. Yeah. We're right, just looking at pictures of bears together, bamboo. everybody. He eats, eats, eats a lot of bamboo. There I am. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, boy, koala bear. <laughs> He's th- sitting there I wondering. I tell you, the boy was from Australia. He's sitting there wondering, what do I do next? He's thinking. Yep. He's, just he's deep in tree. thought. Yeah. He say, how do I get down from here? Yeah. And how did I get here? <laughs> There's Goblin. That's, that's me. Oh, right that's there. Goblin. Yeah. Goblin. Yeah. That's Goblin in a recliner at the Facing Green Gate it. right there. Yeah. Facing a roll down the hill. Yeah. Oh, I rolled, I was I rolled down a hill in Scotland. Have you done that? Yeah. That's a true statement. We went to Scotland for that Duck Dynasty episode. The yeah. first thing we did upon arrival, Godwin said, we got to go find a hill. I said, why? He said, I've always wanted to roll down a hill in Scotland. That's it. So, so <laughs> he found a hill. Guess what? We found a hill, and I watched him roll down a hill in Scotland. Yeah. 
And right. you, you can't say that. He took his bucket lift out and checked it off. Yeah. Rolled down the hill and stopped. Go. I don't I sure did. I don't know how that ends up on a man's list, but, but hey, I watched did. it happen. It's about the same as rolling down a hill here, only a lot further away. <laughs> you had to travel a long way to do it. Yeah. There you go, boys. And the ground's a lot softer. Hey, you heard it so here. So confused. That ground over there was soft. I can't believe there ain't no mud over there. No, ain't no mud. It, remember it rained during that strong yeah. man contest? Wasn't all no mud. All no. I had was wet shoes. You was there. I needed, done that. I needed some cleats, though, when we did that tug of war. Yeah. Them boys drug me through the dirt like it wasn't nobody's business. I was wearing tennis shoes. We need them spikes like they had in them. Yeah, bodies. they had cleats on. Yeah, yeah but yeah. you was playing their game. Yeah, right. but they had cleats on. They yeah, almost right. beat them. No, yeah. we didn't come close. No. <laughs> they wasn't almost. They was just, they was just <laughs> running about. Them, them big old Scottish rascals drug us Ooh. wherever they wanted. Say, hey, the reason they drug you all around, okay, anybody that flips telephone poles for fun. I like toothpicks. Yeah, like toothpicks, yeah. You don't want to mess with Not them. Not only did they flip them, they towed them. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I, well, no, no, yeah. That's they I'm towed them, I and then it flipped. took two people to tow it back. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. That was funny. When they'd go to flip them, they'd do it all by themselves, and then they'd take two or three of them to yeah, get go it pick it up, back up, drag it off the yeah. field. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I wonder who come up with it. Hey, you want to go flip a telephone boat? <laughs> I bet you can't flip that. <laughs> yeah. If it was an American thing, I'd swear natural light was involved. But oh, yeah. let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. There he is, boys. He's back on the cubic. All right, look, I use this thing all the time, okay? What I like about it is, okay, it's low impact. It's so quiet. Okay, it don't make any noise. Right? Not only that, but then, hey, you do one revolutionary, okay, I do, when I do a workout, I do 3,000 resolutions. I'm going to tell you how many strides I hit this okay. commercial. I'm going as fast as I can. So, 3,000 resolutions, okay, then I work out with my five-pound weight in between, okay. I do about four sets of this thing, okay? Is it got a counter on it? Yeah, I'm at yeah. 75. Yep. And you can either have kil kilometers or miles. Mine just says strides. Either way. I'm at 96. He's at 96. Strides. But, but, hey, it's definitely good, okay? Because, look, I put on live from Daryl's house music, okay? They're playing the music. I'm you working out. 3,000 revolutions. Okay, the show lasts one hour. Hey, boom! I don't, I'm I'm done. Done. Feel great. Okay. It's actually helped my breathing because hmm. when I walk to the duck blind now or oh, I go to the deer miles. stand, okay, way better off. Yeah. How many miles have you been? Point zero three. Right. Well, look. If really? you're interested, if you're trying to keep your New Year's resolution and get in better shape, and you want to do 3,000 resolutions like Cy, si, QB is a compact seated elliptical that lets you get fit while you sit. It's low impact, so it's easy on the joints. It's compact design, fits almost anywhere, so you can stay active while you watch TV, work, or just spend time with your family. QB can even help assist with rehab. Two-thirds of QB's users say it's helped them get stronger and improve their mobility, just like Cy. Si. QB comes almost fully assembled. All you need to do is use screws to attach the pedals. And look, they even give you a screwdriver with it. So yeah. QB is a great way to boost your energy and to start building up your endurance. Every QB elliptical comes with a 30-day risk-free trial, and you can visit QB.com slash duck to get free shipping on your new QB today. That's spelled C-U-B-I-I. -I. Get the QB elliptical that's right for you. Go to QB.com slash duck. Cy loves his QB, and so will you. And it will work. I'm almost at 300. So Goblin wasn't the only one that checked off bucket list. I did, too. What's the problem that? is his was free. Okay. Mine clipped me for about $650. Mm -hmm. Oh, I so got to play a round of golf at St. Andrews. Oh, okay. Oh. The old course at St. Andrews. I got to play a round of golf there, which that's back when I really loved golf. I, well, how probably was ain't as high on my list. Of, oh, it's, it's depending on the win. You see, you, you don't have an appreciation for that, even watching it on TV, till you go do it. Because when we went out on the front nine, I shot like 41. No problem. That, that's pretty good for me. No, no. Pretty good score. When we came back, I run smooth out of golf balls because the front nine, we was going downwind okay. the whole way. Yeah. Back home was into the wind uh -oh. the whole way. And, and you I didn't finally, go as far, did you? I kind of just waved the white flag, like on that road hole and all that. I couldn't even make it to the fairway. Like, I mean, it was ridiculous. But, you know, I played 18, so that was cool. I didn't hit the hotel. That was kind of fun. So, 
Uh, but some of them hard holes in the middle, I said, nah, bro, I'm good. No, I'm just going to look. But, Sav, what, anything you've done recently for your bucket list? Well, no. Or what's it, not, actually, hey. what's at the top of your bucket list right now? I actually like to pull off what was at the top of my bucket list in Ireland. Did you? Yeah, because I like to, I had the Loch Ness Monster on the rod and reel. Oh, Lord. But, hey, they had some cheap line on there, and he broke the line on me. There we go. <laughs> Here. So that okay. your your bucket list is to catch the Loch Ness right. monster. The Loch Ness monster, boys. Why hey. would I expect any different? That's right. Why would you expect anything? Why? Hey. Johnny D. You, you I shot Bigfoot, but he didn't go down. Yeah. Uh, he shot Bigfoot. He didn't must go have down. been with a six-five Creed more. Uh, what? Oh, oh. Him, uh, you shot him with the wrong gun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you just didn't do that high five, shoulder. Right. That high shoulder shot. That's you right. Didn't do you that. Shot him with that six-point-five. <laughs> down he goes, boys. I don't even know what we're talking about. I don't either. What are we talking about? Our bucket five. list? Well, hunters would know. Hunters. But <laughs> what, what's at the top of your – oh, careful. Ooh. He's a fisherman. He owns a tackle shop. Now. Yeah. Leave him alone. I ain't His bucket on. list is to sell 10 pounds a shot. I, uh, it's a, it's I think we all 12. killed the same amount of ducks today. That's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah. You're probably right. <laughs> yep. You, that's, that's a I mean, if state. somebody got greater than zero today, then they're in the lead. <laughs> so, yeah. that's right. I'll say that. So, um, I hadn't, I, I don't know. Nothing, you don't, you don't have, have anything new. I mean, I know a lot of it you knocked out during Duck Dynasty with I, Saints experiences. I, and, I cruised through a couple of those. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I still want to go on an African safari, but that's not happening anytime soon. I don't know. Are you planning on shooting anything? anything? No, I, okay. You're just going for the beauty. I just want to have look, that in your bucket. Though. Okay. Look at them. I'm, I'm not the. Look, if it's legal and it's what you want to do, you want to go shoot a monkey. No, I'm like you. By all means, go for it, but hey. I'm out. I'm like yeah. you. Or I would like to go to Africa when the wildebeest leave yeah. the Serengeti Plain. And watch so lines. Because it's dried up, and they make their 5,000-mile trek. And when they come, I don't know what the name of the river is, but they come to this river, okay, and guess who is waiting on them? The crocodiles. The crocodiles. Or the hippos. Or no, the lions. No, or the, no. They all the bears. They, they oh all are waiting Every, on them. Everybody's yeah. there. Everybody is waiting on this migration. But I just want, you know. That'd be the definition of a pinch point. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Al, right. look, Al went to uh, Africa. He's been there four or five times, okay, Min missionary work, okay. And he walked by. It was like a uh, in town. But just a little pond in the middle of the town, okay, is loaded with giant crocodiles. No. No, 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 look. No, I believe what he did. Hey, I'm just saying. I've no. watched that. I've watched a lot of shows on Africa, Tarzan and all this good junk, and it shows the crocodiles. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, hey, TV does not do a, right a live Hollywood. crocodile right, okay, because when Al walked by and he had some pictures taken, Mm. They're walking by these things, and I'm telling you, hey, that crocodile looked like he as wide as this table. He mm -hmm. probably was. Okay, and about 20 foot long. Probably had a name, too. Oh, no, no, no. Big George or said, something, I'm sure. And I said, you mean y'all have to go get water where them things live? I'd be, I'd be taking care of them things, getting them out of there. Uh, no, you uh, can't take care of them. Something tells me if you dip in water out of a pond, you probably ain't got the money for ammunition. Yeah. Well, no, no, that's not fair. I'd be, I'd be different. Yeah. I'm just long, saying, hey, uh, long yeah. you know, I would just be, hey, now I don't know what would happen because I guess we'd die of thirst. <laughs> <laughs> He's out. <laughs> so you want to go? I guess see the thing the about yeah, that's what would happen if because if if that's in where I had got to go get water, mm. this boy ain't going to the water hole. So you ain't going right. swimming, huh? Yeah. No, and I ain't going to the water hole either. Mm. Yeah. Say what? You want me to do what? No, but not my just, turn. No, but you want to no. go watch it's them eat the wildebeest. Well, no, no. I want to go and watch it, okay, from a distance, a safe distance. Yeah. Okay. So I want to be up there on a cliff with a good yeah, pair of binoculars. Yeah, with a good pair of binoculars. Just, hey, they got yeah. them rigs. You sit so on the – Look. Okay, not enough. There's like a million of these things that's going to cross this river, okay? I wonder and how look, many it is. And all the crocodiles in that river are there because it shows them on, when they do it that – they come just jumping in the water, and they can't even get to the water because their, their hooves are on top of crocodiles. I got to be honest with you. Every time I watch one of them shows and one of them zebras gets got, 
I chuckle a little bit inside. Uh oh, he don't like zebras. No, my buddy got them zebras at his place, and they mean, man. They rude. They just. Have they got some zebras? No, another buddy might oh, be. Another? Okay. They they just rude, man. Oh, I would like to have a somebody They're saddle rude. one and let me ride him. Well, buddy. Yeah. If you can get well, a saddle on one of them, you can ride. That must be hard to ride because you never see nobody riding one. Well, well, no, I've seen people ride them before. One moment. There was a movie. One John moment, Wayne please. starred in a movie, and he was catching all the animals in Africa. Oh, they just had it. Okay, well, up, hey, I look, see. he was on one with a zebra, with a saddle. Oh, man. It was a good-looking horse. So I African safari it. from a distance, high on your list. Yeah, I'm going to I would like plugged. to go see all the uh, just, uh, exotic animals that are living in Africa. Yeah. But I don't. Okay, in the wild. Yeah, I ain't got no big. I, none of them have ever been on my list of things to hunt. Like, I, I just. Well, oh, I wouldn't care to hunt them. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. But that's what Johnny D was saying. Yeah. Like, some people hunt zoo animals, which there's there's white-tailed deer at the at the Monroe Zoo, and I, yeah. I'll hunt that. Yeah. yeah. And there's some yeah. ducks. But, like, yeah, I don't, I don't get. Hold on. Oh, I just found a man riding a zebra. There you go. A zebra. Hey, I tell you, a zebra. He ain't got no saddle. Look, hey, look how that he, looks so cool. He bareback. Okay. Yeah, bareback. Oh, they're pretty small. Well, that's a little one. That's a young one. Uh oh. There Watch it is. him, boys. He hooks. Watch him. Watch him, boys. He hooks. Easy, easy. You better let go, son. Huh. And that's um, why that right there is why you don't trust horses. No, I don't trust horses. Oh, you got oh, so, so since yeah, we've done horses. things kind of on our bucket list, what you got? We got to have something else we want to check off. So what? Where you at? What else you got, yeah. Gavin? What else I got? What do I want to do? Roll down a hill in Scotland. Check. Done it. Roll down a hill no. in Australia. No. I, wanna catch a, I don't want to stand on World record chinky pants. He said he don't want to stand on his head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, that'd be too tough on you. You ain't got no hair. No. It'd be rough. Hey, Everybody be rough, wants boy. to catch a world record fish. I do. I want to catch the world record chinky pants. No, on two pound right now it's about six and a quarter pounds. You ain't going to catch one that That's day. a big chicken. I'd put New Zealand on the top of my list. All because of chicken Ooh. pans. If they, if they just made a quick quicker way to I know. get there. I'm well, not what built are you, for 20 What are you going to New Zealand for? Yeah, where? To look around. Okay, just to see some, what's there. Now, I would I would hunt red stag or something. Oh, there. he's going to go get that ring. That what? Oh, Lord, Lord of the Ring. Ring. <laughs> hey. Ring. No, I ain't They got giant elk. Yeah. Okay, and they got giant. Stag. Oh. Uh, well, fallow deer, too. Fallows, yep. They got, both of them are just. You know what else they got? Humongous. Lots of mallard ducks. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. if they got any crappie over Yeah, there. yeah, and you call, and look, the limit, you know, you kill a pickup load. They don't care. You can shoot them mm -hmm. by That's the moonlight. They ain't from there. Hey, I like it. You can shoot them by the moonlight. Yeah. And you can pull corn out. Yeah, they come better when okay. you pull corn out. Yeah, yeah. So I've heard. Oh. Well, let's take another break. If somebody, if you got something else on your bucket list, let's let's bring it up on this next one. We'll be back right after this. Si, do you remember that time we, that first time we went to Kansas and just how cold it was? Oh, yeah. How much would you have paid somebody for a blanket right then? A good one. Probably everything I had in my pocket. That's exactly right. But I'd have, look, I'd have taken up a collection. I'd have treated it like the church house. I'd have taken up a collection and get us all a blanket. All a blanket. Look, there aren't many blankets out there that can withstand the great outdoors and your living room, but now you got one. Our friends over at Rumpel. These blankets from Rumpel are weatherproof, durable, and cozy. They're made with the same technical materials used in premium outdoor gear and active wear. Basically, Rumpel is on a mission to introduce the world to better blankets. Look. Brittany got one in the back of her car, so just in case she break down when it gets cold now. So did, boy. keep them anywhere. They store up into a little bitty, little bitty ball, tiny little thing, but they do, they are incredibly warm. Rumpel recycles over 5 million plastic water bottles a year, so they talk to talk and walk to walk. These blankets are awesome in the great outdoors or at home on your couch. And did I mention they're weather resistant, durable, and most importantly, cozy. They're very cozy. Cozy. comfortable. Rumpel's fabric even keeps pet hair and debris off, and that makes it usable for anything. Rumpel sent us some blankets to try out, and they're absolutely awesome. Like I got that. a Saints one. It's the, it's very I, I cozy up, and I just watch them try and win, and they yeah. don't, but I'm comfortable. You cozy up and watch other teams play football still. That's <laughs> cool. Um, from their original puffy to their newly released wool blanket. Whoa. Oh, what I say, si? 
Whoa. Oh. That's new. Rompo blankets are perfect for any adventure, even the living room kind of adventure. Save 15% off through March 30th at www.rumple.com and use code DUCK15. Visit rumple.com by March 30th to get 15% off and stay cozy this winter with Rumple. That's code DUCK15 at rumple.com. Oh. I got a hey. great for a bucket list. Well, what is it? Hey. Do tell. How would you like to be able to actually go and see everything in the ocean? You want to get in a submarine? No, no. I'm just being coming if you were capable capable of doing it. You could just owe me at the water? Like Aquaman? Yeah. yeah. You could just see everything that's in the ocean. That The ocean's big, man. Well, no, no. That's Indeed. The, the other part would be, okay, how would you like to look at everything on this earth, the beauty of it? At once? Yeah. So, like, the yeah. northern lights up above the Grand Canyon? Well, now, no, that like would everything. be cool. Everything. Especially above the Grand Canyon. Yeah. <laughs> so See the no- northern lights from the south. Then they'd be the southern so lights. You want to combine great things to look at. The beauty of all of it. What would be the see, prettiest? You know, because look, there's so many creatures in the ocean. We ain't, even, we ain't, even, you know, nobody's cataloged them. Well, let me just tell you something. The same thing on on the earth. Unlike that African safari, yeah, where you ain't going grocery shopping. Yeah. If I get in on that, I'm going grocery shopping. Oh yeah. The man likes a fish. I do love them saltwater fish. Boy, they're good to eat. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Nine man. out of ten of them. See, I'm into the beauty of it. Yeah. Now, here's too. one for the deal. You know. Every time I've went deep sea fishing, okay, boom, there's the bite. You set the hook, you reel it in, and it's when it's out there and talking about, okay, it's coming up, talking about, goodness, look at it. You know, it's flashing silver. Mm-hmm. It's like somebody's underwater with a mirror and they're flashing silver, okay? Yeah. Well, then when you get him upside the boat, no, he ain't silver. He's blue. No, he's camouflaged. That's it's a nurse I'm... shark, and he's black and brown dotted. Yep, yep, yep. Huh? You gotta Where be, did the silver come from? You got to be slick catching nurse shark. Mm-hmm. Old Stone caught one. Or a about, Hey, look. He caught one, you know, about eight foot long. <laughs> and look, he was flashing silver, okay? And he's a camouflage. Uh, Black and brown. Dot. But he was silver. He was silver when he was in the water flashing. So that, that light refracting through that water got you all twisted, huh? Well, I don't understand how it's happening. It for years. Yeah. Same thing about, okay, you know, you catch a red snapper. Okay, it was flashes of silver. When he comes out, he's red as this cup right here, bright red. Yeah, you know, I don't understand. The physics of bending light. Yeah. Is, oh no, yeah, my it's mind, lost on him. My mind is saying, Psh, you know. Oh, I'm with you. It's like when you go bow hunting, fish for fish, you know, shooting bows at them. You, you got to shoot, shoot way under. You got to shoot to miss. Yeah, way under. under. Mm-hmm. Cause it's gonna go hit the water and it's gonna come up. There you go. So you got to shoot below him to allow for the up coming. <laughs> <laughs> then you dope pop your microphone. Okay. Yeah. You you blow everybody's the eardrums up right. for the upcoming. Yeah. For the upcoming boy. So Sai si wants to see the splendor of the world yeah. all at once. Oh yeah. Just boom. Just. Cause I've seen part of it on Nature Show. Okay. Like the <laughs> like the big. Uh, he uh, stayed in a parrot. holiday in like No, no. Like the big parrots, okay, of, that are all colors. The big what? Right? Yeah, parrot. 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 In Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. And and they, want to crack. they actually nest in cliffs down there. Do you want to see the animals or do you want to see, like, I want to see it all. The Grand Canyon. I w- oh, I've seen the Grand Canyon. I've walked down there. I've the actually Grand been Canyon one just kind of just real, you know, to look down in it. Okay. You look so down in the Grand Canyon? Oh, yeah. And I've only seen the Grand Canyon very deep. from a plane, and it was grand. Oh, no, no. It was very deep. That's a big old hole. Well, you keep yeah. bringing it up. Yeah, and water. I've always wanted Water to is what done that. Yeah. Colorado River. a mile deep in places. A mile is a long way. <laughs> what about the Royal Gorge? You ever walked across the Royal Gorge? I, you know the on big the, swing they have on the Royal Gorge? The bridge. The big swing. The swinging bridge. No, they got a swing. A swing like on the, the royal giant gorge. The swing they have at the beach over the on the very edge of the royal gorge, and Ooh. you go out. Uh-oh. And no. I, 
at nah. like 17 years old, I did that, and I can't. Bl- I'm still nervous about. You it. see any mule deer? Did any mule deer come up there? Uh, I I peed my pants a little, and uh, my eyes were closed, so I didn't see anything. Oh, you missed it. <laughs> he missed so I wasn't really looking. He, I wasn't he really missed looking. Missed it all, boy. Oh, wow. That's now. the Royal Gorge. Hey, you talking about Royal, I've walked across that bridge right there. Hey. Uh huh. Hold on, watch this. Did you? Mm hmm. Sure oh, have. No, I wouldn't walk across it. Did you run across it? Oh, excuse me. I was young. I might have. I don't remember. I just remember being there. That's I remember cool. the mule deer coming up. On the bridge? Ate them. No, nah, you can. Oh, okay. you can eat. Oh, I they wait for you on the other side. On yeah. the other side, okay. Yeah. yeah. They're saying, come on. I got it. Why is that called the Royal Gorge? I don't know. Well, why is it called a Grand Canyon? Because it's grand. Well, this place is royal. Oh, well, and it's a gorge. And it's a gorge. Okay, but what is what's the difference between a gorge and a canyon? Why ain't it the Royal Canyon? About, or why ain't it the about, Grand Gorge? About two miles. <laughs> hey, that's one if. What if? What if? What if? Okay. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Uh, you got to love this. Here you go. Yeah, I did this. See, we're talking I about did this some swing. Of the seven one nope. up above the royal. Oh it's wow! The, I would do that. Uh-uh. It's on the edge of the royal yeah. gorge. I'm gonna need yeah. to know who makes that fishing line. I got the VHS tape. I don't know how to play it anymore. I ain't got Not a VHS. Hey, VHS. So you actually player. was on a swing on this thing? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he was swinging. swinging. And that was what 12, 15 years ago. The royal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, how old am I? Huh. Fifteen years ago, fourteen. Yeah, years ago. That's Great. one of the wonders, seven wonders of the world. Who thought of that? I wonder if a swing re- on the edge of it. Yeah, I wonder if they've respooled that line. Ah, uh, well, they've got to change it about every two days. They had to change I, it after I peed. Hey, I feel, a, I feel a lawsuit coming up. <laughs> Look at that. How about that? Dang. No. Wow. No, the royal the gorge. Things you wonder, but you know what I often wonder. No. If a bear be. puts on socks and shoes, is he still bear footed? <laughs> <laughs> I just said it. He said it. That was just in your head. Touche. Uh, that was a good one. If a bear puts on socks and shoes, is he still bear footed? I read that somewhere. Somebody <laughs> done a joke. I said, I love that's it. pretty good. Hey, that was a good one there. That was a good one. You got to debate that. Hey, he got me on that, boys. If a bear puts on I socks and shoes, is he still barefooted? I would say no. Blah. Huh? He's a bear with feet. Is it spelled the same way? Barefooted and bare feet. He I was barefooted. More one of them bear. He was barefooted is all I know. Do there bears have feet? <laughs> yeah, they got feet. Well, I don't know. That's all of them. Came up whatever I typed in barefooted. I guess they got paws. But again, what's the difference between paws and feet? That's it, boy. Paws and claws. Same deal. What's the difference in a gorge and a canyon? That's it, boy. What is the difference in a gorge and a canyon? I told you, about a mile. About a mile. (laughs) (laughs) I hope that's right. Golly, I hope that's right. A gorge is a narrow valley. A narrow valley. Located between mountains. Okay, yeah. A gorge is between mountains. A gorge is often smaller than a canyon. Okay, there you go. Although both words are used to describe deep, narrow valleys with a stream or river running along. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. About a mile. So it's just. <laughs> about a mile. That's the difference. It's just whatever you want it to be. The Grand Canyon's more than a mile across, and the Gorge, the Royal Gorge. It's like the Mississippi River. I don't think it's, it's quite a mile. a mile across. It's not a mile. It's more narrow. I'll there like you go. There it is. Hey, the Grand boy. Canyon's big. It's big. Hey, you know, the funny thing is, is this week normally we would be flying over the Grand Canyon. Uh-huh. It was a shot that's, show. That's right. I forgot but, all about that. But we ain't there. Oh, Along with a lot of other people. It's going on right now? Going on right now. Oh, the shot oh. show in Vegas? Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord we ain't there. Leave Even though Johnny D still owes me a drive out there. But you I ain't never I, drive. I ain't never going. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'm never going back to Vegas. He's never going He's back. never going back. Unless You'll never experience the Lavo again. I just don't like Vegas. Unless the Saints make the Super Bowl and it's hosted in Vegas. Right. You may go to him. That could convince me if somebody the sends me tickets. Boys. There you go. The I'm not a Vegas person. Everything You never go outside. No. Never go outside, but the food is good. It is. 
And if you don't like this, then go next door. Yeah. That's right. If you don't like this place, go try the next one. Yeah. Amen. And well, they're all connected. Well, now that we've discovered the difference between gorges and canyons, by I've a mile. I've been to the Bighorn Canyon. About a mile. It's big. Y'all get back to me on the bare feet. <laughs> You want to <laughs> Send us an email. He yeah. wants the bare feet answered. So, About bare feet. Yeah, let's uh, let's ask the fans. Let's poll the fans. Right. If a bear is wearing socks and shoes, is, is he, he still, still barefooted? barefooted? I'm right. saying no. He's going no. JD said no. What do you say? I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still compliment that. What is the word? Oh, co Copland, what would you say? Yeah, contemplating is what you're looking yeah, for. But yeah, you said, what, is, what is the word I'm looking for? Contemplating? Yeah. Yeah, there sir. it is. That's That's close, close enough. enough. Okay, boys. Yeah, let's okay. go with that. All right, well, let's. let's Complimentating. Right. Let's complimentate over. I will get back to you with an answer. Well, good. Well, let's take All a break, right. and that way you can think about it. You can complimentate it. Johnny D, what's in that mailbag? <laughs> we on that hello at duck hello at duck com. Duck com. Duck com. Now hey, I'm back to the email. I'm just gonna say it again. I'm cheering for the Bengals. Hey. I just think you should say go Bengals. Quit emailing me. Right. My name is Robert. Hello, Rob. Hi, Rob. You is JD. I'm from Central Coast, California. From California. He's got good news. His work last year changed their rules about beards. Bravo, UPS. Um, so he grew his beard out. Awesome. But now he has this weird habit of licking his mustache all day. Hmm. And it drives his wife crazy. Have you guys ever experienced any weird beard habits? Mm. I'm going to plead the fifth on this one. Yeah. Wait, why? You bite yours. I do. I bite it. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. I bite uh, well, it. Hey, he I'll, it sit there, I'll, I'll sit there. I'll sit there. I'll sit there and keep it. No, I don't lick it, but I'll keep it right at the top of my lip because if it gets over, I can just reach up there and eh, snip it off. That's how he trims his Well, mouth. I've got a question. What's that? For all the beard guys. You're one what's, of them. What's the weirdest thing you've ever found in your beard? <laughs> hmm. I ain't never found nothing. <laughs> Weird. I mean, duck, said, hey, duck he lice. Ain't found nothing. I'm a I, I mean, I've had a I've had a couple of duck lice get get caught well, up yeah. in there. Well, that's during that's duck season. Yeah, that's just yeah. from toting duck. Yeah. You know. I mean, I found a good size, like crumb. It was still a crumb. How old was it? I mean, like. When's the last time? No, you it was from like either breakfast or lunch, but I found it much later that day. Oh. Critters. Mm. Critters. Mm. There's all kind of critters gets in beer. Was you any? Was duck you lice? Right? Yeah. Ticks. So now I'm biting my, my got, now I'm biting my mustache to trim it because I got a short beard now though I got this little curly beard yeah. I do bite it though I, I but I, I don't ain't found nothing but here. licking it that's a different that's yeah. a different animal I, that's when y'all said that the only thing I hit my mind is that Phil was duck hunting somewhere and they were staying in an old trailer oh I remember this okay mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's asleep and feels something in his beard. <laughs> no, no, the next thing you hear is was a scratching and then a thud against the wall. <laughs> what was in his beard? A, a mouse. mouse. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That was so funny. The funny part was the thud on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. So he just threw that mouse up against the wall. We had a rat. Off the wall, boy. We had a rat at the deer camp. He got. We set out a coon trap for him. Coon trap? Yeah, you can hear him. Big rat, boys. In the roof. Big old cotton rat. Yeah, they wake you up. Their tail come across your lip like that. Uh oh. Man, y'all need a cap. Oh, he's way. Y'all need a camp cap. Well, he's way out in the Tinsall swamp. Yeah, you needed a camp cap. Six miles from the road. I'm so confused. Okay. On so no, no beard habits. habits. No, uh, no, you beard. bite yours. Yeah, I bite my mustache. To trim to it. it. He bites his mustache. Quit licking your print. mustache. No, I, I don't know about licking it. Put some hot sauce on there. Yeah. yeah, put some cayenne or something up there. You'll get off that. Of course, then you'll snort it. So or that ain't going to be no juice. good either. Mm -mm. But if you like Cy, si, that doesn't affect you. All right. One of my favorite emails we've ever gotten. Ever oh, gotten. Oh, he comes Must be praising you. Nope. Oh. Share it with us. It's a good one. He likes all of us. Well, good. James. Jimmy. From Northern Michigan. Michigan. Northern Michigan. Michigan. He had to do a project in his English class. Ooh, okay. And he did a project about the duck call room. 
Ah. Oh, he did a dead gun PowerPoint. Yeah, there's yeah. a PowerPoint Jeez. character board. All right. Character board, boy. Look at that. Of right. the Duck Call Room, Arthur's, Cy Robertson, and Justin Martin. What, what? I've made it. It's hey, a, you done the Arthur? I, I guess. It's a nature slash religious podcast. Yeah, awesome. Nature slash religion. I'm just glad to know somebody's been writing a script this whole time. What do you say yeah. about Cy? So about Cy, he says he's the greatest storyteller of all time. He's oh. old. Not so wise man. Yeah, yeah, I concur. Oh, but not so wise. That's what he said. Oh, I thought he said wise. He needs upgraded. Oh, I like that one right there. The best person on Duck Dynasty, not an opinion, a fact. That's a fact. Jack that is true. Uh, that's uh, looks the same now as he did at the beginning of Duck Dynasty. Yeah, he's born like there that. You go. <laughs> that's just you, Sal. Justin Martin. I like that old pudgy. Uh, has been a yeah. A my man didn't look for good photos of us, by uh, the way. That's my only flaw. I a solid. That's from last year fishing at Bussy Break. But that one down below was me and Jace Teal hunting. I don't know why I'm so mad. That's way back down. It's probably because they won't come in the decoy. I Here's probably done run out of honey buns looking at the size of my <laughs> yeah, face in yeah, that picture. Yeah. Here's what he said about Martin. He's a big, fluffy man. There he is. He oh, is. fluffy. Hey, that reminds me of the comedian. Well, you know what? So fluff, fluffy. The best part of fluffy is yeah. that's what my wife calls me is fluffy. Oh, oh, there you go. Because off of that Despicable Me movie, that little girl gets that unicorn and she says, he's so fluffy, I'm going to die. And so Sorry, that's just a little <laughs> window into our marriage. Oh, hey. We watch animated movies. Hey. Yeah, that's well, there fine. You go. That's cool. I watch them every day. I know good right. well that Martin his is wife also friendly. always tickling and fluffy. Amen to that. You're happy and content with what you have, and I you sure love am. food. I do love food. Hey. Good food. I'm not right there vinegar. with him. And yeah. next, John hey, Godwin. Hey, look at that. Johnny Godwin. Oh, dear killer. While Cy is not wise, John uh -huh. Godwin is a wise man that has lots of experience. Oh, okay. there you go. Okay. He's 59. Godwin, are you 59? I'm 59. Don't remember. 59? You crowding 60, Hammer. But you also have. long in the tooth, boy. He, he has the great. world's best goatee. Absolutely. Oh, all right, boys. I'm just, going, me out there. I'm just looking at this. I'm going to go ahead and say it. J.D. is a Godwin fan. Look at the pictures he chose. Oh, wait Look at all the nice things he says. That's yeah. right. J.D. is on Team Godwin. Was a That's professional it, bull. And why not? Oh, I'm on Team Godwin, too, but I'm just saying he picked two. Oh, man, Johnny D. Look at that hair. Oh. oh. The oh. youngest of the group has the coolest nickname ever because we have the same nickname. And uh, as a bidet kind of man. And you're a great inspiration for diets. Right. That's why he put the top picture. Yeah. That's right, boy. <laughs> That's it, boy. Zing. There you go. And then my favorite, actually my favorite part of this whole thing is Jay Stone's page because it says he's the smartest on the show. Wow. Wow. Well, there you go. He was a teacher. He was That's a teacher. That's it. He, he was a teacher. teacher. And he's a very he big hugger. A uh, big hugger. Loves to be hugged. Two Love bells on that, boys. Loves to be hugged. Well, J.D., oh. thank you, friend. That's so that's awesome. it. We have been, we've officially made it. That should get a A++. Plus I want plus. you to fix A. What I want to know is, is what the teacher gives you for your Yeah, we got to know. Also, gotta know. just as a peer review, you have misspelled a few words. Uh -oh. you know, compassionate. You're way off, bro. Uh -oh, way off. So, so go. Go spell check that one. That's right. But look, but JD, I'm, I'm here to help. And, J.D., there's a lot of hope for you because you've heard size pronunciation by this point. Oh, yeah. Right. And look what happened for him. Yeah, don't change right. it. Just keep it like it is. Look, yeah. one of my teachers fault. They were great teachers. Yeah. Okay, how this poor, poor student. <laughs> <laughs> we got any more? Yeah, and this one just confused me. Uh oh. Uh-oh. All right, y'all have confused, J.D. All right, focus, everybody. Focus. Right. Focus. focus. It's like. He didn't say his uh, his name's in the email, so I'm going with Clay. Didn't say where he's from, and he just said one sentence. In season one, Duck Dynasty Si said he was bit 27 times by snakes. Were you bit 27 times by snakes? No, nope, that's when they had me lying again. Was all you, I said. 27. Hey, me and snakes do not get along. 27 times. That well, was. That I think sense. that's the story he was. He read snakes in there when he should have read, I was stung 27 times by African bumblebees. African bumblebees. And my mother, while she was pulling the stinger out, was laughing her head off. Can you spell uh, half bomb, kind of bee, that is? Bumblebee, bomb, B-O-M-B, bomb, B-E-E. 
Palm Beach. Palm Beach. <laughs> I could be confused with hey. our friends over at Bambi. Oh, no, 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 no. Or hey, these, hey, the, the, ba- the, hey, the African bumblebee, they uh, are bad little dudes. Or the okay. much more common bumblebee. I thought you'd bumblebee. never been to Africa. Huh? I hadn't. They, they migrated over here. There was African bombo bees? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They was in a fence post. In so Vivian? They had rot, rotted out. No, it was Dixie, Louisiana. It was in Dixie, fence post rotted. He ripped yeah. his drawers, and they went yeah. right after the white okay, part of yeah. his drawers. They went after the target, which was white. Under 27 the, times. 27. Hey, look, I was running and just crushing them. Okay? <laughs> and my mother, when she was pulling the stingers out of my rear end, she said, your rear end will never be any bigger than this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They want them still in the top of your back. Oh, hey, I'm telling you, hey, <laughs> hey, that may be the reason I got the hump on my back. She was, think, she was thinking he wasn't fast hey. enough. Oh, hey, no, I wasn't fast enough. Phil, that out, run Phil outrun me. Well, shocker on that one. I, yeah. I mean, Phil outrun a gazelle back in them days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. I googled bombo bees. What by did the it way? Uh oh. That's the what's the fancy way of saying bumble? Latin. Oh. Genus species. Yeah. What's those called? Yeah. It's, it's Bombus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that? I, just <laughs> like to I love it. I love it. No, he Did didn't. You learn that from <laughs> that ain't Bombo. Hey, I give the man a lot of credit on things. He didn't yeah. know the Latin for B. No. Bombo, right. Bombus B. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Bombus. No, Bombus. you just got. You it's started nature. with your. You're saying I got lucky. No, I'm not saying you got lucky. <laughs> I'm saying you started using creative license on your story to in. Uh, uh, enhance, emphasize yeah, Bumble en- and got yourself to Bombo. <laughs> Bumbo B. Bombo. Because in your heart, you know it's a Bumblebee. There ain't no doubt. Bumblebee? But I'll never call one no, Bumble. No, Bumblebee. Well, we just ain't going to sign him up for the spelling bee either. Uh-uh, you right. said not a Bumblebee. Uh, hey, what's our verse? Well, we've probably already read our verse. I got it. I'm going to read it back. Genesis 3. Yeah. Oh, 3 8. Oh, Were there any Bumbo Bees in the garden? Had oh, yeah. to be. Oh, yeah. yeah. Something had to pollinate. They, 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 they brought, they brought honey to you back in. Flowers in it. Flowers bring bumblebees. Yeah, should have had something to pollinate. Something yeah. had to get the flowers That's going. It, boys, hey. he said back bumblebees. in the garden, they brought you honey. <coughs> oh, they had that in it too. Yeah, and they had the honey bear. <laughs> All right, Genesis three eight. <laughs> <laughs> then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Awesome. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, where are you? Like he didn't know. And he's he testing him. It's a trap. And he answered, I heard you. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> it's actually kind of a bummer of a verse now that I'm reading the rest of it because they're about to get cursed from oh, yeah. here on out. Hey, this is what happens when you mess up, though. Yeah. That's right. Hey. It ain't Look, all sunshine. Out all right, so we're going to skip garden. down. It ain't all sunshine and rainbow. They, they messed up. They were banished. They were naked. Now they got clothes on. And after he drove the man out, we, we went all the way to verse 24, he placed on the east side of the Garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to the tree of life. So here's what I'm going to say. They messed up, and now we live on this blah, 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 earth. It's got all the problems in the world. But one day... We're going to be back hanging out with Bombo Bees and having honey brought to us. Right. And it's going to be the honey bear. It's going to be better than the Garden of Eden. Right. It's going to be heaven. That's for right. It's going to be ever. eternity. That's right. And, and that's going to be as and it's says, be no game wardens inside. Ever. Yeah. None right. of them made it. No, oh, here we go. All right. We'll see y'all next time right here. <laughs> bye bye. On the duck call. Good to be back. Go Bingle.